Hi, welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Inns Travel Channel. We finally decided to visit Toronto. Our first stop was the CN Tower. We caught the GO train from the town of Oakville to the Union Station. Once you're in the Union Station, you basically follow the signs towards the CN Tower. This is in. Very accessible, easy, just follow the signs on the top. Even Hold on, a little, little bit tricky. As you got out of the station, we didn't know which way to go because there were no signs. Yeah. And then someone told us you have to follow the you. Union Pearson Express. And then you follow the Skywalk. You won't get lost, promise me. Yeah. Even me, who are mentally challenged with what? directions. <laughs> with directions. Was able to. <laughs> they are not going any further in their conversation. Suzanne's <laughs> gonna go open the door for me. Thank you, Mrs. Zen. And over there is the Rogers Center with the, the baseball team Blue Jays play. The Sin Tower is 553 meters high. It was built at the Communication Observation Tower in downtown Toronto. It was built by former railway lands and was completed in 1976. Its name, CN, referred to Canadian National, the railway company that built the tower. The fees to enter the CN Tower is $43 per person. If you're a senior, you pay $30, and if you have a child under age of 16, you also pay $30. So be prepared to budget for about $200 for a family of four. So that was the CN Tower. One thing I forgot to mention, there was a competition one asking people how tall do you think CN Tower is. So everyone put things like one kilometer, two kilometers. In fact, it's only like 453 meters in height. So it's, that's what it really is. It's, it was actually at one point the tallest freestanding structure in the world. But now I think there's others. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video.